With talks about potentially raising the minimum wage, many are trying to claim that raising the wage would lead to inflation, which is why I'm going to break down how exactly raising the minimum wage would impact inflation. First though, we need to understand what causes inflation. The simplest answer is that inflation happens when there's a low demand for cash. The lower demand for cash leads to the value of individual dollars going down. But what does it mean for there to be a low demand for cash? What is the alternative that people are going to? The alternative is capital assets, meaning stocks, bonds, real estate, and other investment vehicles like cryptocurrencies. And the decrease in demand for cash is always, by definition, caused by the wealthiest individuals who have little to spend their dollars on. Instead, they invest, which means buying up shares of companies, real estate, or other vehicles to store value and earn interest. It's no surprise then during a pandemic where the rich have gotten richer while the poor fell behind that things like cryptocurrencies and stocks have seen huge rises and bubbles. This is especially true with large corporations. With low taxes and low consumer spending power, they have been putting their money into things like stock buybacks and purchasing huge swaths of real estate to store their wealth in whatever they can. This reality leads to extreme inflation as the prices for capital assets skyrocket and the relative value of the dollar falls significantly. Now you might say, but I'm broke. I have a huge demand for cash. But when it comes to the relative value of the dollar itself, what matters most is what percent of your individual demand is for cash. For working people, nearly every dollar we earn needs to stay in the cash economy to buy things like food, clothes, and pay rent. This is true up until you earn comfortably more than the cost of living and begin putting money into the stock market and other investment instruments. Now that we have that out of the way, what would it look like if the minimum wage were increased? First and foremost, companies would have a much higher demand for cash as they would need it to pay their workers the new higher wage. On the side of workers, their demand for cash would stay relatively the same as the higher minimum wage would not bring them above the cost of living, and thus workers' cash demand would remain 100%. Taking this one step further, the increased spending on necessities would generate demand for more products which would cause companies to increase production to match their new higher level of demand. This too would put downward pressure on inflation as companies would need more cash to boost production and hire enough workers to keep up with increased demand. Some claim that prices for goods would increase as workers have more cash on hand. However, the whole purpose of hourly wages was to separate any link between wages and market prices. Prices for goods are already set by market rates in a system designed to disregard the cost of labor as a way to allow for much higher profit margins. These pre-existing profit margins and the market price system mean that a wage increase simply would not lead to an increase in prices on the large scale. Additionally, the fact that companies would now have a higher demand for cash, they would face more pressure to push goods off shelves thus putting downward pressure on those prices. So how would a higher minimum wage impact inflation? It would significantly reduce inflation by increasing corporations' demand for cash and through secondary effects would also lead to an increase in employment as companies try to keep up with consumer demand. As a final note, to anyone who claims that higher wages would force companies to lay off workers, understand that businesses don't hire extra workers just because. Their profit motive drives them to always hire the absolute least amount of people possible. So don't worry, if minimum wages are higher, your job will be just as safe as it is now. If you like this video, then consider subscribing on YouTube. I also stream on Twitch, Tuesday through Sunday at 9am Central. Support on Patreon is what makes all this possible, so please consider becoming a patron.